In this video I will show you how to animate laser beams between two objects in Blender. In this case, the Cardassian Gala fires its spiral wave disruptor upon a Klingon bird of prey. When we go through the frames, we see the beam stays constantly on the target, although the ships are moving. In a new Blender project, I delete all objects and add a cylinder. The cylinder has the default height of 2 meters. To move the cylinder 1 meter up, type G, set and 1. The bottom of the cylinder should now be located at the XY layer. In edit mode, press S, SHIFT, Z to scale only in X and Y dimension. We make the cylinder a little bit slimmer. This will be our laser beam. Next we need a simple armature. We SHIFT A, go to armature and select single bone. Go to Data Properties and activate in front to see the armature through the mesh. In Edit Mode select the tip of a bone and again GZ1 to move the tip to the top of the cylinder. Return to Object Mode and select the cylinder, Shift select the bone and press Ctrl P, Armature Deform with Empty Groups. Select the cylinder and switch to Edit Mode. Select everything with A. Go to Data Properties and assign all vertices to the only vertex group. In case you created more vertex groups, you need to assign all vertices to the group with the name Bone. The next step is to add an empty. I normally choose Empty Plane Axis. I rename the empty to Tail. Select the Bone and go to Constraints, add a Copy Location Constraint. The target is our empty. I can control the cylinder and the armature with this single empty. Add another empty. Since we name the first one to tail, we need to name the second one to head. Select the bone again and switch to pose mode. Select the bone a second time and go to bone constraint and add a stretch to constraint. The target is the second empty head and set the volume variation to zero. Return to object mode and select the head empty in the outliner and type GZ2 to move it 2 meters upwards. I select the armature once again and under viewport display I choose display as stick. With the head empty we can control the target of our laser beam and with the tail empty the origin. Now I could attach the empties to ships like in the opening scene. The next chapter is about a simple example how to animate the laser beam. For this example I set the end frame in the timeline to 100. Go to Edit, Preferences, Animation and set the default interpolation mode to linear. Add a cube. This will be our first starship. Set the current frame to frame 1 and select the cube and with GY-10 move it minus 10 meters along the Y axis. Create a keyframe with I and select location. In the menu use the button jump to endpoint and with G, Y, 10 move the cube back into the origin. Create another keyframe with I and location. So far the animation looks cool. Go to frame 1 and add a second cube. With GY-20, bring the cube 10 meters behind the first cube and create a location keyframe. Go to frame 100 again and with GY-10, bring it 10 meters forward. And add a keyframe of course. Now let's test this crazy animation. Now I want the second ship to fire upon the first ship starting at frame 50. So I go to frame 49 and select my two empties. With GX I move my laser shot out of the camera view. For both empties create a location keyframe. Now we can go to frame 50. Open the side menu with N and select the head empty. Set the X coordinate to 0, Y to minus 5 and Z to 0. Create a location keyframe. Do something similar to the tail empty. Set X to 0, Y to minus 15 
and Z to zero. Again, create a keyframe. Let's say the laser beam should stop at frame 70. We have our tail empty already selected, so set the Y to minus 13 and create a keyframe at frame 70. Set the head empty Y to minus 3 and also create a keyframe. In the next frame, we need to move the shot out of the camera view. The easy way is to select the very first keyframe of our timeline. Shift D to duplicate the keyframe and drag it to frame 71. Repeat the same for the first keyframe of the tail empty. I gave the cube the default material and the laser beam a red emission material. I set the background to black and added a sunlight. Go to render view and play the animation. I applied the same principle to the big scene and that's it for this tutorial. I see you in the next video.